<laughs> even I get the ads. They're crazy. Even the streamer gets the ads. Good morning, good morning. There she is. Finished it last night. Finished meaning first run. Looks good. So today's job is color transfers as much as I can do. How you doing, guys? Guys, gang, whatever. Step one, we have to wash it. It's chilly in here this morning. It's a beautiful, beautiful sunny morning, but it's still chilly. It's springtime, so some of the days are up, some of the days are down. It's chilly. Okay, the black you're seeing on the block right now is not pigment. It's the black left over from the tracing. That thin gumpy paper was pasted down and peeled off, leaving the toner layer just by itself. We've got to wash that off. I've just got a blank brush, a brush that hasn't ever been used for printmaking. I would normally do this at the sink, just quick mint under a running tap with a toothbrush. But, uh, this will do it just as well. Thank you, yes, three packages. One for day chan and two packages for Sugasa. She's got the final embossing to do on the April print, the one about the night cherries. And she's working on the next print we're doing in the reprints of the Mystique of the Japanese print series. A subscription set that's a reprint of some of my old blocks. And Nei chan is doing, uh, she's doing one of the portraits prints. She's doing Chun Li today. This portrait series still are very, very popular. We're over 500 each now. And everybody's happy. Jed's happy for his royalties. The Carvers are happy for their royalties. Kawasaki Sound. Toner removal, I guess. Oh, I forgot. We do have the uh, other camera. I didn't put it outside today, I put it inside. Where is it? Here we go. Sorry about that. What's Kawai san working on right now? I'd rather not tell you. <laughs> Actually, he's between two normal printing jobs. He's just finished a batch of the first print that's in our catalog, Moko Hong Kong catalog number one. It's a print I carved at the end of my poet series for a present for the subscribers at that time. It's the crow on Shrine Gate image, and it's steadily popular in our in our shop here. And he did another batch of 40 or 50 of them. And, no, they're not here. I sent them to Ome yesterday to be packed today. And he's between jobs. He's going to start another one in a few days. But between that, he's doing a bit of repair job. One of the other jobs turned in by one of the other printers, who is not necessary to mention her name, uh, was a bit weak in one of the colors. So before we before we set up for packing, uh, I give Kawai on the blocks and the print, and he remoistened the paper and printed one of the colors again. So kind of a repair job. Really, we actually been cleaned off. There it is. There's the bare wood before uh, before printing. It's always really nice to see it at this stage. It doesn't last long because any minute now I'm going to put black pigment all over it to do the color transfers. In which case, let's do this. I need a piece of junk paper for testing. Let's do this. 
I brought the white brush from the party room. Are you ready? It's a nice, beautiful block, but I told you it wasn't going to last long, and it isn't, because here we go. impression. There will be, almost certainly there will be some touch-up carving to do on that. Some of the lines are a bit too fat, maybe some too, some too you know, whatever, we'll see how it goes. But uh, at the moment, let's just get going. this too. It's going to be bothersome for the printers. Even though the printing paper doesn't come this far, you can see what's going to happen when they're printing. This gets a bit of pigment on it. They'll put the paper down here, then when they're rubbing with the baron, the baron will touch this and pull that pigment back onto the paper. So I'll need to trim that little bit off. They're actually going to be better because the printers are right-handed, so they won't actually probably need to do that. key block for them to print because there, as it turns out there's no empty areas at all so they don't have to uh, worry about where the baron will touch and where it won't touch and avoid some places they can just go bang 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 right across pull five of these sheets on all. We have a bit of a problem here doing this color separation work this morning. Oops, that's not work. Just a second. This was prepared for a different size print and it's not going to work. Let me cut the corner off.
Okay. This can go away for a while. Let's have a look at what we got. As I said, I prepared five of these sheets because the, the goal on these prints, the same as this year's subscription series, we've got a set number of blocks to use. On these Pachibi heroes, we use three pieces of wood both sides, which means it's usually six colors, although sometimes the colors might differ top to bottom. But John has given me a Photoshop file. He gave me a design that was key block plus six prints. Either he didn't get the messenger or whatever, couldn't figure out how to do it or whatever. So we've got a thing here that requires seven printings. And I gotta cut it down. I've gotta cut it down to six. Yeah, I'm not sure that's the same lady name. I thought, for, I thought when I heard her coming, I thought it might be the shoe lady, but I don't actually think that was her. Question here, I'm wrong, all these chili prints have water in their subjects, do they? I don't know, that wasn't part of the, you know, uh, I don't think they do. The first one was a garden scene and uh, a printer. I don't think we had water. Second one was, uh, I've forgotten, just my blanks out of my mind. Second one was the carver. He had a water flask. And what was the top part of the image? I don't remember. It's it's gone from memory. I don't know. Our royalties negotiated individually. You're talking about the carvers, the The carvers, uh, uh, two, two minutes, two, two minutes. The, the royalties, the carvers, we do pay royalty. It's, it's clear, it's published, it's in our, our vision. They get 16% of retail for the first 100 copies and 8% of retail for all subsequent copies. And we pay them a, an advance for the first 200. They have to, we have to be able to live, even though we haven't sold it out of prints yet. So we pay an advance for the first 200 copies, which averages out at 12% of retail. So that's what they get bang when they give the blocks to me. And then as we make more prints, each time a printing run is done and we pay the printers, we also pay the, the carver for that. Now having said that, stuff like that that's carved by me, there is no royalty payment at the moment. The idea for the future is that if this place ever becomes a company and whatever, whatever, I will need to get some kind of salary, which I don't get now, but if I do get a salary, then that's how we'll calculate it. All the prints that I've carved over the years, as we sell copies of them, I would get an 8% royalty. That's the theory. It's not happening now because there's no payments to me because this is a proprietorship. We can't legally make payments to me. All right, what am I doing? Let me get some yellow markers here. What did I do with them? I think they might be under here. Here we go. Here's something in the question box. Which questions? There's something in the question box, yes. Oh, this is a question about the royalties. We don't want different royalties. No, no, we pay royalties anytime there's a design involved with a, a, a designer. It's one of two things. We pay Jed royalty for the ongoing subscription prints that he designs for us. He probably doesn't want me to mention the exact number, but it doesn't matter. Whatever. We pay him, of course, a royalty each for each print we sell. Something like John, John actually, John acts as an illustrator and we paid him a flat fee for these Patreons for a couple of reasons. One is uh, we're not reissuing the older ones. So after we do the 2017 Patreon chibis, they're now history. They won't be going out anymore because each year the Patreon people get the newest print. So it's an ongoing thing and the old blocks just get retired. So it didn't make sense to pay John royalty. So we worked out a, a flat fee and he was happy with that as an illustrator to get the, the fee for it. And then who else gets royalties? The carvers get royalties. I had more yellow markers somewhere. 
And then Ano san the young girl who does our print party block of designs. She gets a royalty on the print parties. Even though the one that currently is, it's a hook size design, but she worked it out for us how to do a simplified version. That was quite a difficult job to do. So we're happy to pay her a royalty for this. Okay, I gotta, I gotta think about this for a minute. Let me, let me get clear what I'm doing here. So as I said, you know, I've got to try and uh, I've got to try and reduce John's idea from five, six colors down to four, uh, down down to five, six colors down to five. And I think I can do it by what he's done is he's he's overlaid some of these things. But in his own Photoshop file, he overlaid them using the multiply function of Photoshop, which doesn't make sense to us. So for example, he's got this blue of the water, the light blue of the water, and he's got the, the purple pink of this person's clothing. And he put the pink on top of the blue with what's called a multiply in Photoshop. And it came out to be this purple. But it doesn't work in real life like that. If we had a blue of this tone and overlaid a delicate pink like that, it's going to change the blue a little bit, but there's no way you're going to get this, this purple, dark purple tone. It would be just a tint of dirty lilac. So they don't work the same way. We have this with Jed all the time. And Jed now doesn't use multiply in Photoshop. He uses transparent layers, opacity set to 50%, chooses his strong color. And when you do it that way, you get a much closer imitation of what a woodblock print is really like. So if I just follow John's Photoshop layers, it's not going to work. But there are some I can start with some that I know we're going to be doing. The wood planking, the wood will be here. The same color will go underneath here. It'll be the skin tone. It'll be underneath the dark wood. It'll be here. It'll be here. So let's just start with one that I'm confident about that I know will be okay. And it'll need a little bit of drawing because in a couple of places he's made a kind of a rim light so we'll need to draw that onto here. Is the camera moving? Is the camera moving? Am I banging the table? Should I move it away a bit? If I bang the tripod, sorry, was I banging it? Okay, no idea.
corner is blue. <laughs> Spot of white too on the bottom picture at the left hand. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that. I think that's a mistake. There's no reason for there to be a rim light there. If anything, there would be extra shadow there. Let's talk about this place. The left handle spot of white. I think I'm going to color that in. I didn't draw a window. There's a story there, right? The kimono shop next door opens usually at 9 o'clock. But they obviously do special orders. And what we just saw, I'm guessing, was a lady who rented a kimono to go to a wedding today. That's not your typical type of kimono rental to prance around a saksa. That lady was going to a wedding, almost certainly. These are fingers, these are going to be brown, so flesh. So I think John's got this white, but I think I understood. I don't think there's any meaning for it to be white there. Okay, I think that's our first one.
What's next? Let's go for the blue. overlays five six seven the pigments start to act oddly oddly of course they change when you've got a bare piece of paper with its fibers and you put pigment and paste on it it sort of fills the space in the fibers then when you print another color on top the paper is now a different kind of paper there's not so much room in it so yes as you go layer one layer two layer three layer four things start to change and uh, this year our printers are really really struggling with this because this year's series we're doing with jed has huge numbers of overlays the one they're doing for the fifth month, May, there's a place on the print where it's eight overlays. In other words, from the key block right up to the end, it overlays A, A plus B, plus C, plus D, plus E, all the way up to the top. Now, the blue here, the blue is blue, we know where to go, but we've also got some outcuts. This is Jed, um, Jed, not Jed, uh, John. John has given us some uh, outcuts. There's also a question about the number of blocks. Now, I said I'm reducing from six to five. One way to do it would be to get this green by overlaying instead of printing a green block. We've got a blue on here. We've got a sort of a yellowish tone. We could overlay those to get kind of a green. But I don't think it would be very attractive. We're going to do this in brown, make it look like wood. And it'll be a pretty muddy green, so I think I better not do that. Let's keep the green separate. We could use the green to do some of these shadows on the wood. In fact, that might be the way to get our block count down by one. We've got these darker brown areas. What we've got is we've got a light brown for the darker brown. Then we've put the green on top of it, and if we put the blue on top of it, that'll give us a kind of a muddy brown color. And that'll give us the shadow, and it'll be okay for the side of this, these boards, the back side of the posts. So instead of a brown block, I think we'll do that. We'll run the green and the blue and the yellow all into those areas and that'll give us a brown. That'll give us five sheets. So I think that's it. Anyway, let's go. I said I was going to do the blue. Let's do the blue. Now the blue has lines. Should I do these freehand or or what should I do? I think I can draw them, it's okay.
Our blocks aren't sanded, our blocks are just on a plane. There's different ways of doing it. For us, we just plane it. There's no sanding involved. But to some of the place, Matsumura san, he's preparing blocks. He, uh, he does it all by sanding. Planing is much more difficult because you've got front grain, back grain, grain going this way, grain going that way. So Matsumura san's blocks are sanded. They're, they're rough plane first to the right dimensions and the right thickness and stuff. And then he sands them. He's got a big sanding machine. The, the blocks go inside the, the machine under sprays of water. So Matsumura san's blocks are wet sanded. The traditional way is just planes, steel, steel on wood. John's left us a white line along the edge of that. I wonder why. Just to give it some definition, I guess. Yeah, John himself, John, the guy who designed this for us, he's making his own prints, he's making his own blocks too, cool. He's got some American cherry, which he likes a lot. And he's sanding, I guess, yes. The thing about sanding and planing is, to do the planing, unless you're really, really, really good at it, you're in trouble, and that, that's our situation. We don't do it ourselves. And if you're not really a, a very experienced planer or access to good super tools, then sanding, anybody can do. Sanding is a good one. And John sands, I think, also under, under a wet sanding process. It works, it works, go for it. But, uh, we prefer the smooth steel cut. Now, can I do this freehand or should I, should I move to plan B? Should we trace this? Just make sure I get these right. Might be better anyway. I've got some uh, carpet paper somewhere.
paper. Crap. Absolute crap. Absolute crap. The last couple of days where we had the camera outside, I enjoyed that, you know, that was, that was fun. I wish I could have watched it a bit more. <laughs>
parts that are brown are also going to get this blue, right? The brown is going to be made up of blue plus yellow plus green plus uh, yellow plus blue plus the red. That's going to give us brown. So this blue goes on all the areas that are marked as dark brown. This bit up here, I almost certainly forget that stuff. This is the kind of block that's really, really easy to forget zones. So let's make a double check. We'll pick, check it again before I paste it down. But at least let's have a look here. We've got the main water area there with three cutouts. The main water area here. Cutouts for this under everything under here. Nothing cutouts for the lilies. Nothing here up in the corner. We've got that here, here, here. Seems okay. Down at the bottom. The purple, the purple, the purple here. We've got this wave. Oh, that wave's not colored in. Waves up here, here, here. There's touches of blue in there. We'll catch those. Oh, there's one here I missed. Look at this. One here. Another one here. Here and there, the main wave here, 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 under it to the hand, under the brown up this far, circle here, coming around, in the corner, in the corner. I think we've caught it. I think that's the blue. Sorry about this, this is not a horribly interesting look to watch today, but it's work that's got to be done. I'm sorry, you know, you know, from tomorrow, of course, we'll be carving. Maybe today, if I get this all done today, I don't really know. What's happening here? Do we have some common commentary?
Is the mic giving trouble again? Testing, testing, one, two, three. Is it me on the table? Is the mic still making noise or is it okay? It is too cold to have the front door open. It's chilly here this morning. Very, very, very chilly. I sacrificed for you because I want you to hear those street sounds. Did I include the brown areas in the top print? No, no, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Don't know. The brown areas in the top print, should they come? Oh, no, 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 that's right, that's right. That's right, that's right. No, it's not going to be a dark red. I'll make it too funny. Where is that? This is what I get for trying to do too many things at the same time. So, the brown on the bottom print needs this blue on top of it, and the brown on the top print needs this blue on top of it. So all these edges. Who was that? Was that John? Thank you, sir. on there I wonder why because the light's coming but he put the edges here but didn't do this one that's interesting John the designer put brown here but not here I think I'm going to put it in one shaft. This post has a shaft. Thank you. We'll be going over them again before I paste down, but everything helps. Okay, next is green. Green. This should be easy because I don't think I'm going to overlay it. by combining a bunch of stuff. That gives me no flexibility in how to manage the green. So I think I'd like to do it independently. easy to show. We're not going to use the green for the overlay on that post. We're going to use the brown underneath, the blue stripe, and then the red. Let's do that red now. 
So this red slash pink, whatever it is, this is going to be the visible area we see. And it's got to match the one I just did. Here, cameras here. Yeah. Bit of a later start than usual, then. I'm telling you. Oh, so okay. you're late. Hi. You're late. <laughs> I didn't. Don't even have a late start. <laughs> it's my other fault. Who's counting? I've, uh, I've no. Tell you what, what we're going to do today. You know, we have trouble turning this thing. Yep. I'm just going to turn it. Let's do it. All right. Because. Oh! Ah, you're on my side. I'm on my well, whatever, move the camera, do whatever you want, yep. it's up to you, whatever okay. you want to do, or, or, or what are you going to do with that? There's, now we got two views of camera, no yeah. views of me. No views of you. Uh, what are you going to do here? Whatever, fix it. Yeah. <laughs> <So, laughs> it's not that everyone sees it, bro. Huh? Pardon? Going to get everyone That's got one of those floating lenses. It's real trouble. You can't point it at something you want to point it to. You know what I mean? The lens actually floats. Physically, it floats. Oh. Inside, oh, okay. so it's light because when you're moving around shooting your yeah, kids so and stuff, yeah, 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 it stabilizes it. But you can't put it. Whenever you put it, it keeps moving after you've stopped. Just, Got it? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Watching it move around. Mm. Brave Dave, prepare to go down. Oh, it didn't go down. It didn't go down. <laughs> no. I didn't plug in the Wi-Fi, the Ethernet cable. I just left it on Wi-Fi, and it turns out that this, you know, we were avoiding Wi-Fi when we were upstairs because yeah. we were at the back of the building, and it was dead. But I, I, I was too stupid to realize we we're here now, two meters from the router. We have strong yeah. super Wi-Fi. I didn't need that Ethernet cable plugged in. Yeah, seems to be. It's okay. Just it's fine. okay. We got our full four four K bit stream. <laughs> 4K. No, okay. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, it's oh, okay. 4K video. I mean, look, we're getting four thousand oh, kilobits, four kilobits per second. Per second. I'm sorry, excuse me, excuse me. It's a 4K stream, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. right? Right. That's what they've been asking <clears throat> for. Something like that. <laughs> 4K stream. Yeah. yeah. Am I on? I keep, I keep moving around on this one, so it's. Yep. Looks good. So how was your weekend, sir? Uh, it was good. Yeah. Uh, hesitation. Uh, good. I'm just thinking, what did we do? But, yeah, it was nice. We kind of near our house is a field, kind of a small farm of rape blossoms, the plant, <laughs> or nanohana is yeah. the Japanese name. We went there and took a bunch of pictures of flowers and family, and then also you could pay 100 yen and get a bag and stuff it as full as you can with them and take them home and eat them. They, are they edible like that? They are. They are uh, you boil them for just a little bit, not boil them so they become the mush. Flowers? The flowers? The um, 
before they've bloomed, so the buds, I guess. Seed the buds thing, yeah. and the uh, the stems on the leaves, they're all yeah. edible. And they taste good. They're yeah. kind of like a spinachy broccoli flavor. <laughs> Somewhere between those two. So I think in Canada, that's one of the major crops for some mm -hmm. reason. I, I've never known what they did with it. Yeah. But yeah. Turn it into oil, usually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can yeah. Canola oil? Yep, canola like oil. But... Well, the, the different feeds, Instagram feeds this week have been full of, from California, people all taking pictures in those huge fields of flowers, right? Oh, Something yes. Something like yeah. there, so. Yeah, I think so. Kind of a similar thing here, then, is it? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So that was a fun Saturday. We tried an experiment on the stream here. On, well, it's an experiment. I got the longer cable, so on Saturday and Sunday, oh, okay. I put the camera outside. Right. And in, in the right, right out as far as I can get it without actually going outside. Mm -hmm. And on Saturday it was a cloudy day, so I pointed it east towards oh, yeah. Sensoji Temple, towards the crossing. It was okay. Yeah. And the other day it was bright sunshine, so yeah. right into the camera. So I had to point it the other way towards Don Quixote. Yeah. And it was okay. And I'll, I kept the door open so we can get the sound. Right. And the people seemed to enjoy it. And uh, oh, fun. I think we'll, we'll do it again on the weekends. I was thinking one idea was to do it every day that way, and then when you get here, you pick up the camera yeah, and bring it inside in. or something. Yeah. Which, which camera? The one that's on the yeah, that tripod now? Yeah, that's what I just now? put outside. Yes, yeah, of course. I kept my normal camera. Yeah. Yeah. about areas I've forgotten. I've already done that. I think, yeah. Twice, so. John Becker's hunting and watching desperately <laughs> to catch mistakes I made. He's got one so far. Yeah. This is the light pink red color and it's going to underlay anything that you see as brown. Okay. We're going to make, we don't have enough blocks. And John called for seven, key block plus six. And there's yeah. no way. It's got to be key block plus five. Mm. So, uh, so you're dividing it up differently. Well, no, I'm trying to, I'm trying to think what, which one we can scrap. And I can scrap the brown, because we can make the brown. Okay. We've got a blue, we've got a yellow one, we've got a reddish color. And that's enough for us to make a brown. Yeah. A brownish, but it's okay. It just has to look like dirty wood, so we're okay. Okay. People are saying that the audio is crackling. I wonder I why. Know. Should I try and... I mean, the, the microphone... Let me turn the mic off and turn it back on. Hang on a sec. Testing, one, two, three, the mic is now back alive. I turned it all off and put it back on again. Are we still crackling? I don't know. Say a few syllables. A few Say syllables. a few syllables. <laughs> Testing, one, two, three, four. Still crackling. Oh. Still crackling. But plan B is the switch old mic is still there. Yeah. Just leave that as it is. We're going to switch mics then. Hang on a sec. The new... I'm, I'm the old mic is now plugged in. The little tiny lapel mic is now plugged in and it's what's active. Testing. One, two, three. The laptop needs a reboot in the middle of the street. Well, Probably not the that best idea. The street, so. <laughs> okay, I, 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 I refreshed it last night, actually, oh, wow. for some other reason. Uh, too bad. It's still crackling. Oh, wow. Don't know what else to do for it. Okay, we have one more block left, and that's going to be the dark blue. We tried something this morning. I got some carbon paper here. Some of these areas that I thought were sort of too small and for me to trace, I thought I would do with the carbon paper, and it's crap. 
crap, just <laughs> absolute crap. crap. It's black stuff, and you put it over, and you trace on the back, and it doesn't. Well, that made a line, but it didn't when I was doing it a minute ago. Of course it's not. Did I have it upside down? No, I didn't, because those were tried to come up. I don't know. I guess once it's in between and whatever, anyway. Huh. So actually, what I'll do, I think, for this dark blue, because the dark blue depends on the light blue first, I'm going to leave it for now. We're going to move ahead to the carving scene mm. and print, carve the light blue and do a test print of it. And once the light blue has been test printed, then I'll be able to see exactly where those things are and we'll carve the dark blue. So for the moment, I'm going to leave one of these sheets I'm going to leave one of these sheets out of it. This is going to be the dark blue. And we're going to hold off. We do this all the time with the hero's prints. Yeah. You can't carve block D until block C has been carved. You can't carve block C until block B has been carved. Right. So we'll do that. So we're inter just, interdependent. Yeah, and this one is quite a bit because as you can see, that dark blue comes in the middle of the, the light blue. Yeah. So there's no rush for it. I will just put that aside and we'll pick it up part way through. And because I'm doing the carving myself on this job, it's easy. If we were sending it out to Kobe for Kawasaki-san to do, those things are trouble. She has to send it back to me, we send it back to her, we draw on it, she sends it back to me. We're doing that with the you know, Hanami cats and Laman cats. Right. But because I'm doing this, it's easy, it's all on the same bench. So that's enough, let's do this. Let me uh, double double check this stuff. Well, me and John Becker, <laughs> he likes to find these mistakes. Can double check these things. And Cameron is immune to the crackle mostly. It's because he doesn't talk. <laughs> I know that it's right there between you and me, so I'm not sure what to say. So. Yeah. John Becker, I'm glad to help. So. He's... So before I paste these down, one last little check through. There's the green. And the green is going to be, it doesn't affect the brown, right? We're just doing green by itself. We could have made green with blue and yellow. We could have overlaid other stuff. We're just going to leave the green by itself, which gives me complete control over how deep to make it. It's here. It's here on that wall. We've got that area. It's on the wall. It's on the wall. It's on one, two, three, four lily pads. It's on the stems of the plant. And that's it. We're not going to use it to over anything else. Green is good to go. What's this? This one is the color for the wood and the skin. And it has to underlay the dark brown areas too. So it looks like the whole of the bridge is okay. Ignoring that corner doesn't come under the sea or the flowers. Down at the bottom, we've got the window frame. We've got the frame of the tool that makes the paper. It looks like it's all there under the light, under the dark. There's a rim light cut up the top. And it's on the arm, it's on the fingers, it's at the bottom area there, it's on the fingers, arm, bottom area there. I think the brown, light brown is good to go. Next is light blue. This should be easy. It's not going to go. Oh, it does. This covers the oh, dark brown. Oh, John Becker's got an idea. What? Ah! Yeah. This is missing the very front of the lower frame, I think, on the one you just moved. The very front of the lower frame. Very front of the lower... Ah. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Give that man a chocolate egg. What color am I doing? This is light. So this underlays the brown. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Give the man a chocolate egg. Next time you're in town, John, we'll have a real chocolate egg together. <laughs> a real chocolate egg. No, no, he's egg. done this. He's done this often enough now. He's saved my ass enough times now. I owe him a beer or something. The chocolate egg has been bestowed. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> oh, also in the lower left-hand corner. Oh, enough corner. already! Enough already! <laughs> what? 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 Lower left-hand corner. Is there anything? I don't think so. Stuff? Not for yellow brown. That's going to be blue plus the red. I I don't think okay. so. It's the outside of the big main tank. Okay. And I think John right. Amos has. On the camera, it. it does look rather brown, but in I person, think, no, no, I it's think a no, color. no. I think we're okay yeah. to go here. John Amos has kept them different. He's kept the upper frame and the lower tank totally independent yeah. color-wise. So no, that's a false alarm. But yeah, good catch, sir. Thank you. Good catch. Oh. 
temporarily I've switched to the MacBook's uh, microphone. They say it doesn't have any crackle at all, so we'll just go with that for now, since it was crackling so much. So at the moment we're okay, are we? Yep. Yeah. 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 I don't know. Yeah. I've been dealing with three video feeds and a couple of audio feeds if, without being professional, without having professional connectors and stuff. Yeah. That's what we're going to get. But uh, maybe what I should do is just restart this thing now every morning just before the stream, just as a matter of course, because yeah. we're obviously driving it pretty heavily. So. Yeah. All right, I think, okay, that one's going to go away. All right, next blue. We were partway through the blue. What was I doing on this? The water area. Let's look at that first with a few cutouts for... I don't know what they're called, you know, highlight. The plant is totally cut out. We're going to get that corner. We've got the dark brown on the edge, on the posts, here, here. The two post shadows on the edge. We've got it here, 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 here. Looks good on the edge, on the edge. I think... I uh oh, Ken Hallett's fishing for credit. No, that's <laughs> someone that said. Lower right corner of the lower print. Lower right says. corner of the lower What color are we talking about? Well, sure. here, the lower right corner has through. blue. Only has blue, and I did put it in. Okay. I think I put it in. Am I am I missing something? This is the blue block we're talking about. The bottom area is in. The little spiral thing is in. This is in. We haven't got the dark blue dots yet. That's going to be a different story. It's in here. It's in here. The water comes up around the hand. These these two, and it's going to be over the brown. Because we're going to use the blue to get brown on the hand there, on here. Up in the top bar, up coming up to the fingers, there's a bit of brown there. And there's lots of places in the blue where it cuts in here. Here, here there's one over there. Look across the bottom. I didn't cut out that light strip along the bottom here. I don't like it. The brown is there. The brown on the front of the frame is there. The blue is... This is a complicated one, so let's be careful. So I'll do the purple. Oh, it's hanging on the brown one, maybe, then. And the brown one. There's no brown one. Um, the dark brown is made up of. You the dark yeah, brown? The one that you were looking at before this one? I don't know. Ken Hallett hasn't answered again, so I don't know what it is. Extreme lower right corner, the brown of the frame. Is there brown in the frame in the corner? Or is that only blue in this corner? No, there? that's blue. That's inside the tank. That's water. Okay. That's water. There's no brown at all. This is ah, yeah, I was saying. I thought it might be a small piece of the brown no. on the frame yeah, in the lower right you. corner. Maybe it's not. the wrong angle. It would need to be the, the frame is actually horizontal. You're looking at this frame it's horizontal. So there's no way it could come up that. So no, I'm sorry, that's good. False alarm. No way. Yeah. <laughs> Can help. Give Dave a chocolate egg. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no. I'm not being any. You just shoot him out. Yeah. Right or wrong, shoot him out. It's far better to uh, know, uh, to catch him at this stage. So. Yeah. I've been doing this 40 years. I tell you, still every single time, almost every single time, there's mistakes. When I was doing this, the arms, time yeah. and time again, I get through the color blocks, is missing. We did it. We, we showed that, um, mm -hmm. the repair job I did, yeah. you know, that thing we keep, because that happens, not every print, but often enough, and the more complex they are. Yeah. I mean, in the Yoshida book, they talked about a cool way to try and avoid this, and what you do is when you're all ready to go, you grab all your color separations, all it together, you put them aligned, and you hold it up to a bright light. Hmm. And you look and see if there's any white spots. Right. Now that doesn't work for us, unfortunately, because we've got this the heavy back thick, paper. Yeah. If you just got thin transfer sheets, it does work. Yeah. You line them all up, you hold it up, and all you can see is your yellow, or they yeah. were using red. Mm -hmm. And any white spots, oh my God, there's something I've forgotten because it's not on any of the sheets. Right. And maybe that's okay because it's going to be white in the finished print. If that's what you want. Yeah. So that's a way that, that they used to do for testing, but I can't no, because of this stuff. Okay. No, that's like it. There was one more to check, right? I've checked three of them. We checked the blue. We checked the green. We checked the skin. We didn't check the red. The red, pink, whatever it is. Red slash pink, purple. It's going to be on the full t-shirt. In fact, I'm going to run it, now that I think about it, I'm going to run it to the shadow there of the t-shirt because I'll give that black part. Depth. And it is. That's what those colors should be. So that means it's got to get red there. See so what I'm getting at? Yeah, yeah. The, the dark part of this clothing. Mm -hmm. And that's, we've got red plus the blue, blue to show. Yeah. So it'll turn into that richer. Yeah, so that should go on the blue block also. This is the blue block. It should also turn into, that black becomes a, a multicolored black. Got it. 
and maybe later on the deep blue will also go in that area because that's quite a we've got a light mauve here but that goes quite deep so that's probably the deep blue block yeah which we're not doing it okay so this pink also gets the brown so we got to go through all those brown things again it's pink here pink here pink here underneath that underneath the fingers oh there's a missing one right there come on you guys get with the program <laughs> Keep moving around, it's hard for me to watch what's going on. Of course, yeah, here we are. That's going to get the pinks move under, move under here, move here, all the things. I think we are ready to go. Don't! No. But, okay. but, I think it's actually fine. Speak up, speak up. Surprise. You added it here? Was that deliberate? When it's yeah, I mean, we were thinking there. about that. I noticed okay. that John had missed it. John Amos had missed it. You know, maybe yeah. as the light was coming from one direction, so this yeah. is in shadow, but he's got but the same got thing there. here. Yeah. So I think to be consistent, the same thing's there. We're going to put the same thing Makes here, sense. I think. And I've learned with John, with John Amos, he's an extremely pragmatic, interesting guy. Yeah. One thing, he doesn't just talk, he makes stuff. My God, he makes stuff. He's making yeah. prints, making prints, making prints. But when you work with him like this as an illustrator, He's not, the, he's not in love with every single one of his strokes and lines. He's right. done the job, good, go with it, fly with it, do what you want with it. Yeah. And even if I, if I turned this upside down or flipped or took out the lily pad, he wouldn't care. Because he's it. passed it over to me, he's done his part of the job. Got it. And he trusts me that I wouldn't screw around. You know, I'm going to put his name on it. This is designed by John Amos. And if I put a, uh, something else in there, yeah. it wouldn't be his work. So, but he knows he trusts me not to fool it around yeah, to, that, yeah. to that extent. Right. Adding this shadow is well within the parameters of what he would allow me to do. Yeah. Absolutely. And he may even say, oh, I forgot. Who knows? Yeah. Well, okay. It's possible I've screwed up. And he will say, no, you idiot. They're supposed to be separate light there. You know, it could be that I've misunderstood something, in which case he would be slightly disappointed. But again, he's cool with what we're trying to do. Yeah. Oh. Really nice. I really have a huge, huge admiration for him. Mostly because he's... he's Kind, he's polite, and my God, he produces stuff just day and night. Day and night. He tries to help people and just no, I ain't nothing. Okay, now what do we got? What's the time situation 9 here? Nine fifteen. Nine fifteen. Okay, let's get to that. What we do is let's paste one of these down now. We can have the Olympic judges determine your score on peeling. Oh yeah, yeah. we'll get a peel. <laughs> we'll finish with our peel. The last peel was really, really a good one. So, you know, the peeling this key block. You know. Yeah, really, really well. So we'll have a peel. So here we've got a back block. Let's take one of these and paste it down. And which one shall we do? Let's take the, the blocks for this one. Actually, they're all consistent. Aoyama said made them for me all from the same piece of wood. And the only defect is here, which will be small. We can avoid that easily. So, so it doesn't much matter here. I don't have to worry which of these should, should go on which block, which is the smoothest. Yeah. Because we have a very consistent block set here. So I will just pick an easy one. Let's do the green. Get the others out of the way. Oh, is, it my... hmm? is it me or does that flask make anyone else feel they're on a Norwegian cruise? <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. Well, it does even more. It's swaying. It looks like yeah. we're on a boat. It's yeah. swaying back and forth. It can't be helped. Yeah. Sorry about that. I just don't know what it has to do with Norway. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen the news the last few days. They almost lost the cruise ship. They almost uh, went on the rocks on the Norwegian coast. And a storm and they had some motor failure. And the guy had to make a call to try and evacuate like 1,400 people within the next four hours before they hit the rocks. Wow. So they started it. Yeah. And they're helicoptering people up like one at a time, two at a time, three uh -huh. at a time. And partly through, they did get the motors up enough and some tugs came along to keep them away from the rocks. Wow. But it could have been a stunning, stunning disaster. disaster. Wow. Cruise ship on the rocks goes yeah. over side. Fourteen hundred grandmothers are floating in the ocean. It could have been incredible. Yeah. So I really, the guys who had to make that call stayed in the helicopters. Fourteen hundred people. We can't do that. Get busy. Yeah. Everyone you save is someone that isn't going. Uh, isn't going down. So that must have been horrifying. Yeah. What a call. You know. You know, how many helicopters are there? You know, you know. What is the largest wood block Dave has ever worked on or plans to work on? I'm it's not into big stuff. Yeah. Physically, for me, Someone the scroll, the scroll, scroll. Yeah. would be the biggest. Yeah, so, so, so. But I am not into into big. I don't know. 
there are people who make huge, huge prints. I mean, the Americans do this team all of them all the time. You know? But no, it's not my stuff. The bigger it gets troublesome. Also, I'm a neat, tight control figure. The bigger you get, the looser the registration has to be. You know, it's suitable for people who want to hack at a block and kill the blood and you know, look at the sugar like and stuff. Not my stuff. So I will never be in the Guinness Book of Records for woodblock printing. Can you see my little layers? I'm, I'm like it. You don't want to see the inbox. Uh, no, I looked at it this morning <laughs> on the train because I knew I was getting late and I was like, I gotta get a head start on those emails. But, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that great wave waiting list. Great wave waiting list. Just the same. Just the same. Three, four, five, six a day, every day of the week, non stop. Let's just take those YouTube videos down. No. <laughs> just. Mm. Hey, we're happy, right? Oh, yeah. We're happy, right? Right? Yes. We're happy, yeah, right? we're happy. <laughs> we're happy. <laughs> All right, here we go. Dude, you can do one time. You're just going to be happy, now, right? So. Yep. Take off your headphones. Can how it beat you to it, actually. Okay, good. Idea. Loud sharp bang warning. <laughs> One single loud sharp bang is coming. If you're a newbie here, we're not kidding. It's going to be a sharp bang. If you're wearing headphones, take them off now. You do have the limiter on. Well, right. whatever. Good morning. Right. Good count oh, down. You can Three. leave it open. It's a beautiful day. Two. Uh, yeah. One. <laughs> Done. Short, sharp, and clean, as promised. It's like my mother tearing a bandage off. <laughs> Good morning, Kittasan. Good morning. Get those black folders up and running today. Yes. Or else. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yep, 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 yep. Go. In case I, I, I was worrying, I'm going to forget, that's all. Yeah. You know, so. <laughs> Have a fun trip? Yeah. Oh, good. Where'd you go? What was it about? Uh, different prefecture every day. So uh -huh. the different Seishun Juhachi Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. They still sell those, They still they? sell them. Really? And the Ju price hasn't Ju gone up Ju in like Hachi. 10 years. Wait, wait, wait. Are you only 18? <laughs> no, 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 no. You can use them for couples or for students going on. Uh, your graduation uh, trip. Uh, uh, so, so, so. It's up Tohoku or which way? Uh, we went from Kia to Kyoto and Osaka. So it's I a long ride. I love to use the Shinkansen or no? No, no, no Shinkansen. Yeah, all the slowest trains. Morning. Down to Osaka without Shinkansen. Which route did you go down? On the Tokaido, straight uh, down? Yes, it's Tokaido line. Uh, so stopping where like as far as Hamamatsu, then a different train to Nagoya, another train yeah, to Osaka, basically. that kind of stuff. Yeah. I think it was eight trains there. <laughs> this is exactly what I did when I first came here. You know? yeah. Sorry, I don't know. Except we didn't even get, we took the Donko. Donko. Donko is it's the colloquial name for the slowest train. The ones with square wheels. And it stops Every, everywhere. Yeah. yeah. And my wife was just like, I can't bear this for another minute because she's been, she's lived in Japan for years, so yeah. she's been back and forth. Back, and Dave wants to see every rice field and every temple and every. Yep. <laughs> I think that's the same thing we did. It's like we stopped in uh, one of my husband's favorite animations, K-On! Yeah. Uh, and then we went to the school that's based on it okay. in the middle of nowhere. The real place. Yeah. yeah. And the train that took us there didn't have. Any, you didn't have any way to buy a ticket or to put the ticket in the machine. Uh, Mujin, no, no station. Sure. Yep. Yep. So you had to go to the people, but we had no idea what we were doing. So we watched two or three people get up and go and like talk to the driver and try and figure out what I was doing. <laughs> two or three people were walking around the train going, what do we do? Where, where do we... But I mean, are there lots of fans going there? Fans of the anime? Yes, yeah, so we had... Japanese sort of, people too? Uh, yeah, yeah, there were, I think, three Japanese people, three Korean people, us two and two other farms. So somebody must have known what to do. Yeah, <laughs> they figured it out. <laughs> uh, most people just asked locals. So, really? yeah. so the train company isn't isn't uh, working on promoting this yet? Is it something brand new? Because usually oh, when there's no, an anime it's... featured place, the train company and the local city hall is all crazy about this. But it's about, about 10 years old uh, uh, yeah. So it's so, fading. Yeah, yeah it's so fading. So so I think the school's being uh, demolished oh, wow. next year. So everyone's trying to get there before it's done. It's really beautiful. It's a uh, nice, like, old wooden building. Oh, what part of the country is this? Nice. Mm -hmm. What part of the country? Uh, it's, where is it? It's super you can't even remember where you've been. <laughs> I, like, a whole week, different places every day. 
And you should, if you're talking, the camera's there, you should be moving over here so yeah. you can see it. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, let's zoom out of the fire. Visible now. Oh, you still doing Dragon Ball? Yep. I'm on Dragon Ball Super Volume 6 of 8, and then that's the end of everything. Nice. I have like three pages left in this volume. So. At lunch, I'll finish it and start number 7. At lunch, reading books. What's this? Yeah. I know, I'm, I'm just trouble. Yeah, so one of the best places you went was actually Uji Prefecture. Uji? Ah. Because I, have, culture, sure. I, mean, I haven't heard anything about it, but it's the place... Tea, 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 tea. Tea. Yeah, it's tea, but it's also the place where the last ten chapters of Genji Monogatari Very is based. Oh, okay. So we went to the Genji Monogatari Museum. Genji Monogatari. Yeah. And it's really, really nice. That's cool. And was didn't manage to find any woodblock prints anywhere. I think there was a shop in Osaka, which I found them. Uh, but they had a lot of the same prints we do, mm -hmm. like the bigger series. They were quite a bit more expensive. <laughs> Not Say that louder. <laughs> it, it is actually true though. Like no, no, right. a lot of the shops you go in, they have the exact same prints as us, exact same basically the, batches. Not new prints, we're talking about the 20th century production. Yeah. 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 I can hear the applause from here. Yeah. <laughs> See the difference here? We, we do some of these tracings. We do the photocopy, mm. punch them, paste it down, and peel it off. And this comes up clean. This one was printed a few minutes ago. That's why I printed it. So yeah. that pigment went up into the gumpy, through into the uh, back of the gumpy. Yeah. So we've actually got like a wood block print here. <laughs> so what's the score, Cameron? What's the score? What did I get? 11 out of 9 10. 9 out of 10. Right? 10. Nine? Wait, 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 wait. It's, it's rigged. It's rigged. What rigged. judge was that? From Belarus? What's going on Hunter here? Man 38. We're, how do we ban? How do you ban? How do you ban? <laughs> how do you ban people? <laughs> so sick. I think that means it was good. Peel score 9.8. Started rough, but got better. <laughs> it didn't start rough. Look at this. I, I started in the borderline out where there's it's no a picture. A bit of a rough look. Give, give me a. Give me a. Give me a. Get the band hammer. All right. Get out of here, guys. Slight splitting. I didn't see any splitting. Splitting? Splitting. The splitting comes now. <laughs> it does. Good. Okay, so my work for the next few days is set. What do we do? Let's go. Okay, this is Monday. Oh, tomorrow. There is no stream tomorrow. No stream of course, tomorrow. it's my day off. <laughs> ban everyone. <laughs> My idea of tomorrow I'll be out in Ome. I'm heading to Ome for a secret project, which we'll talk about when we get back. But uh, I gotta, I gotta remind the staff who I am. They've sort of forgotten who I am. <laughs> That's the one We're here laughing, but it's actually sort of half true. Mm -hmm. And uh, what have I got? I gotta make some hunger cup stands. Yes. We're almost That's out right. of hunger cup stands. That's my job. Say hello to the staff. Uh, the winter windows have been taken down. Oh, okay. She's so that's normally she's my going. job at this time of year. Take down the winter. The storm windows. Cody and Gummy then, asks, haircut day? Actually, I don't think so. I think I'm sort of okay. It's too soon. If I cut it now, she'll just say, why are you here? You know, and that's <laughs> <laughs> So I think no. But uh, there is a secret project involving pieces of wood that me and Ariane Sound are cooking up. Oh, yes. we'll, talk, we'll talk about it, but I just want to get it going first before we talk about yeah, it. So. so you have something to show. Uh, so, so I have something to show. So other than that, I think we're ready to go. I'll be back here Wednesday morning. I'll be, whatever, I'll be carving or be doing more of this color separation or pasting these box down. Okay. Good I think well. we can sign us off. End of our week. End of my yep. week. End of your week. Yep. Start of mine. So, see you all next exactly. week. <laughs> yeah. right, isn't it, isn't it? Okay. See you Wednesday. Yep. See you next time. Thank you very much, guys. Okay.